Frank, it's been a while since you guys played a game. How much are you looking forward to getting back out there? And, and have you ever gone this long, you know, between playing organized real games? I'm excited. I'm excited. We're all excited. Um, we prepared very well. It's been a while we didn't play. Uh, every player in there is really excited. We had a good training camp, solid training camp. We worked really hard. Um, but now it's time for uh, what we've been waiting, the game. So um, we all excited and uh, super focused uh, for tomorrow. Next question, Fooch, MSG Network. Hi, Frank. Uh, just your early thoughts on Coach Tibbs and him preaching defense and how it translates to your game. Um, of course, it translates. Defense is uh, really important in the game uh, nowadays. I uh, feel like uh, it allows the team to win championship and to be consistently uh, in, in games to win. And um, he... He, of course, had a big emphasis on, on that, that side of the court, and uh, which is really good. And um, we want to play really intense defense for 48 minutes more. Next question, Mike Vorkanov, The Athletic. Hey, Frank. Um, have you watched film of old Tibbs defenses and uh, at all? And how do you think that uh, your role will be in, in this defense uh, once you guys start playing games? Yeah, definitely. Uh, all the players, all the teams that he, uh, he coached uh, were really intense on that side of the court. Um, and I mean, he, everybody knows he coached really uh, known defensive player, uh, player that won uh, individual um, uh, awards uh, for on that side of the court. So it's really important, and uh, um, I I care about that side of the part, that side of the court too. So I mean, it's challenging for me, and it's exciting. Next question, Steph Bondi, Daily. Hey, Frank. Frank, uh, how much five on five were you able to play during these ten months, if any? Uh, not a lot. It was uh, in and out. Uh, of course, when you when you can, you try and go play a lot of five on five. But uh, with the pandemic and with the situations we were involved, able to uh, uh, play every day like um, a regular season, uh, but still like you're trying to find. Uh, sometimes to play to still get some rhythm in. Um, so, yeah. Next question, Steve Popper, Newsday. Hey Frank, has Coach Tibbs uh, through camp given you an idea of kind of what he sees as the role? Is it going to be more point guard or is it going to be more all over the court defending and that sort of role? Uh, I mean, it's going to be in and out of point, uh, point guard, guard uh, position. The good thing with me is I can guard multiple positions and I, I, uh, I know the plays. I'm, I can. I can. I'm versatile. Versatile. So uh, being playing at the point guard, playing at the shooting guard, uh, it doesn't matter. What matters to for us is to get the win at, at the end of the game. Next question, Greg Joyce, New York. Frank, first road trip for you guys here. How much are you kind of interested in seeing how all the protocols work and how different it'll be this year traveling on the road? Um, I can't wait to see how it's going to be. Uh, we've heard a lot of uh, information uh, on how it's going to be different uh, than the other uh, other seasons. Uh, but, um, yeah, we'll have to deal with it. At the end of the day, what we want is to be healthy and to play basketball. So we'll do whatever it takes to uh, um, stay like it. Last question, Mike Vorkanov, The Athletic. Uh, Frank, a bit of a non-basketball one, but how did you spend the, I guess, the last nine months? Um, you know, obviously, I don't know if you traveled back home a lot. Um, and then, you know, what did you take away from the last nine months and the way that, like, the pandemic has kind of impacted your life? A lot, a lot. Um, tried to do, uh, I mean, of course, I focused on basketball. That time was a, a long time for us to, to get better. Uh, but also seeing stuff other than basketball, like, uh, what I'm interested in too, uh, for maybe like after my career or uh, some stuff like that, why I can help the community, uh, how I can help the community and um, all those stuff. So I try to work, I try to work a lot on the, on those parts. Uh, and of course that pandemic, like, I think it's some, something uh, people don't control and it, it just uh, allows you to be, uh, to grow as a man and to be a better man after that.